guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're out in the pasture here, we're putting up some electric fence. We got all the cows moved back into this pasture over here. Um, and we're starting to put up the electric fence. We're just stringing it out here, you can kind of see it here. We, uh, we just flipped this camera around. Here's the electric uh, fence and the solar panel we got set up. Um, Gallagher turbo wire is what we use. It's just a thin braided rope with little strands of wire in it. Do. And then it transfers the energy all down the line. But uh, before we just used to use the uh, battery, we were always having to charge the battery because it always go dead. And uh, we finally finally clued in that we should probably get a solar panel, which is just a little trickle charger to keep the battery charged all the time. So we're going to try that out. Built this uh, little stand for it. It looks like it should be pretty good. So we got set up here, we're just running a line out down the field they're just stringing it out now and then once they got it down at the other end of the quarter then we'll uh, tighten the wire up and start walking down and putting the clips and putting the wire in the clips and clipping them in the tricky part is just trying to get all the buffalo on one one side and then get them locked into one corner of it so uh, it doesn't really matter what corner then they just kind of rotate around after that so we'll uh, get this one fenced uh, strung up and tightened and then start putting the wire in the clips so we got the wire all strung out all the way across the whole quarter. Now all we do is a lot of walking. We just go along and we clip these in the insulators. We have to adjust the height if we need to kind of get it spaced out a bit, you know, so if they come up to it, the nose will be kind of at the top level and the cows can get through them at the bottom here. So. And uh, then we make sure we have lots of flagging in between it. The more the more visible the fence is, the, uh, the more they'll be aware of it and be able to see it. So it really helps out that way. I think having it visible is kind of the key, actually. Um, I think get excited and trying to run through it or something. But they're pretty trained to it pretty good now. This is probably the, I think this is the fourth year we've used electric fence. And, and they have a lot of respect for it. They don't even test it really, even if the battery is off now. So some of this flagging gets bunched all up here in spots. We're really happy with the, with the way this is working. It really helps with their, their pasture management. And as you can see, you know, the pasture's coming along really good. They haven't even been in here this year yet. But, uh, you know, it's pretty early yet, so it's going to grow up quite a bit more. But, uh, yeah, we'll just keep walking down this line and putting the uh, wire on the insulators. There, so we got all the all the wire clipped up all the way across the whole quarter. Um, we just got the quarter split once for now. The buffalo are kind of all excited and running around, so we just want them to calm down overnight. And, uh, you know, come up to the fence, know it's there, maybe even get zapped, just kind of get get there, uh, get learned about it, and uh, then we'll maybe come out tomorrow after they kind of calm down and try and get them into one corner. So. This is one half, this is the north half of the quarter, this is the south half of the quarter, and then we'll kind of put another electric fence uh, from the middle all the way up to the north side, and from the middle all the way to the south side. So then they'll have either you know, one of the corners of the quarter. So I'm not sure which one they'll be in, but whatever one they'll go in when we fence across, then we'll start there, and then they'll, you know, they'll rotate week there, week there, week here, week here. And then over in that field is going to be field oats, they're going to graze later, so. In about a month or so they'll go over there so this, this pasture will last them a month in each corner or about a week at a time in each corner a month month total and they'll go over to there so i'm just working on putting some flagging tape on here to make it nice and visible for them and, uh, we'll go turn the power on just came out here to the pasture to um fill this mineral trough back up and uh they already know why uh, why we're out here. They're already starting to come out here because we know we're gonna fill it up for them. So we're just gonna uh, hook it up and kind of drag it warm by that slew of it. But yeah, completely empty. Nope, the Redmond Mineral. This is the Bison 90, I believe. 
Ryzen 90 has uh, how much selenium? Just has more selenium in it. Uh, 90, I guess that's what they call it. 90. It's good for the uh, mothers this time of year, especially when they're just gonna st start uh, getting into breeding. So, and when they got their new calves too, so it helps them helps them out that way. They tend to eat a lot more mineral when they're not on our well water, just because our well water has a lot of mineral in it. So the sloughs and stuff don't have quite the mineral melts that uh, our well water does. So they, they really like the, the mineral in the summer here, so it makes them look really good and really healthy. And uh, we do what we can to make them, make them as healthy as they can. So just put her in a freak trough here and then uh, we'll just step back and they'll be right up to it pretty quick. Calf just playing around. His mom's running after him now. She he ran off, and now his mom's gonna go find him. He's just having fun, bucking around and enjoying the sun. I think he's just trying to show off to his friends. It's, uh, it's awesome just sitting out here watching these guys chewing the grass and you know, move around as a herd and see them all move in one unit. It's pretty cool. One of the older bulls coming up here, he's a little curious. I think he's just kind of wandering down towards the mineral over there too, but he's just coming for a leisurely stroll by us here. That's a good good close-up, I don't think he's... I think he can smell it, yeah. I think this is a bull we got um, from Justin Dory at Irish Creek Ranch. Um, I think he's probably a or an eight-year-old bull now. Still looks really good. Irish Creek genetics, they're pretty good genetics. And then this bull in front of us is a homegrown bull from our own, uh, our own batch. Um, we picked him because we liked Liked his looks. Thought he'd bring some good character to the herds. Once one goes, they all go. You just follow the herd. I don't know, they don't even know why they're going, but they just have to be out together, so. A bunch around to the corner over there. There's some new calves in the corner, and I think some of the mums went over there, and then a couple went, and then they all started to go, so everybody thinks they gotta go, so. Still got lots of grass out in this uh, corner here. They, uh, they were, got them trapped into this corner of the quarter on Thursday, I believe. So we'll probably move them to the next corner in a couple days here, but there's still lots of grass in here. A lot of grass, actually there's quite a bit of, quite a bit of growth in here still, but we'll, uh, we'll like to, we like to leave about um, a third left for it to regrow. And then uh, a little later in the year, they'll come back and graze this corner again. But uh, we're all on the move. Lots of little babies in there. They ran right by the mineral. This is a E? Yeah. This is a new new mom first calf for her. She's doing good. Yeah, yeah, they get all excited and then they find a little wallow hole and then a wallow in that and kick up some dust and grunt a bit and yeah, it's pretty cool to watch them.
this quarter we say the dotes um may 25th and they're all starting to come up really good all you can see all the rows really good and uh we'll do an in crop spray here when they get a little taller try and knock off uh, some of these other little weeds to reduce competition and then it'll be a really good uh oak crop for them for the bison to graze um in about a couple weeks we'll uh we section this off too with the electric fence and we also dug two dugouts in here um, earlier in the spring here so we'll be able to properly section it off and it'll have lots of water and we'll uh, really be able to utilize um, the oats to the fullest extent we can actually graze this um, these oats down pretty hard um, we don't have to try and keep any um, keep any uh, you know kind of cover on the ground or nothing so we can uh, we can get as much uh, utilization of these oats as we can just because we will um, be seeding something else into it. I think we're going to be seeding some oats or not not oats. We're going to be seeding this this quarter back to grass so we'll, we'll be seeding some uh, grass down um, maybe later on. Um, so yeah we don't have to try and try and save any save any of these oats or nothing. We can just kind of graze as hard as we want to so this uh, this quarter will last them quite a while actually if we can properly properly uh, rotate them around it because they can uh, graze the regrowth later too so we'll get quite a bit of grazing days off of this quarter and uh, allow these pastures to to rest and regrow again so it's going to work out really good um, yeah this, this, these oats are coming up really good so another month the uh, bison will come out here just put out some redmond mineral for the first time while they're out here in the hay pasture some of the boys were the first ones up. They could barely wait for me to take the mineral out and put it in the trough. Everyone will have to come see what it is. Big boys. I'm standing right here at the gator. This is how close they are to me because they want it. Here they come. There's 27. No baby yet. Better get in the gator. These are getting little horn nubs in his head. Here's the bison in the southeast corner of the quarter. They got moved yesterday into some fresh grass. I'm just coming out here to check on them, just to check on the fencer actually. And uh, Brooks came along with me. He likes running along, seeing what's seeing what's going on. But uh, hopefully you can see this cow right here. She is 69. She's always the one that comes in the feed yard and uh, is always coming up close to us. And they're not scared of us at all really. And she finally uh, had her calf here. I think. Might be her first calf. I'm, I can't remember if she had one last year or not, but she's uh, looking like she's going to be a good mom. Kind of leading him away. Looks like he's not that old. Probably just had him in the last 
couple days, I imagine he's still pretty small. Well, that's cool, you had him. There's quite a few calves out there. There's uh, probably, I don't know, I'd say 75% 70, of the herd's probably calved out now, so there'll be a few stragglers um, having their calves, you know, in the next couple weeks, but uh, won't be long and all. They'll all hopefully have them. I know there'll be a few that won't, that uh, wouldn't have had a calf, but hopefully we are uh, get about 90% of them calving and uh, we'll have a good, uh, good calf crop this year. I'm just gonna go check this fence and see how it's doing here. Just along the, along the fence over here, the panel and stuff. There's, there's her calf, 69's calf. Good view of the herd there, eating some grass. Nice night out tonight. Let's go have a look at this panel. See what it's doing. Watch out for the cat, watch out for the poop. I step on that. And here's the uh, panel setup. You can hear it ticking. Don't touch it. See a good view of the view of the fence line down there. Lots of flagging tape on there to make it visible for them. They have no problem seeing it, and and they respect it pretty good. So yeah, looks like it's uh, working pretty good. It's awesome that we don't have to uh, change batteries anymore. I don't know why we didn't put a solar panel out a few years ago just to keep a battery trickle charged, but. Uh, you learn as you go. Anyway guys, hope you guys uh, liked that little video. Um, stay tuned, we got lots of more uh, buys in action coming out throughout the summer. Um, got some fence we're gonna uh, put up in the next week. Um, pound some posts in, get that strung up for, uh, by the yard. Um, then we're gonna maybe do a bit more seeding in a, in a couple more weeks, just um, about 80 acres. We gotta seed some cocktail blend around the shop. There's some neat things in that I'm gonna Kind of run down the cedar and uh, show you a little bit about the blends and stuff like that and how we mix it and the process through that it's pretty cool but uh, stick with us we got lots of exciting things happening this year um, if you haven't done so already please subscribe down below we really appreciate it go check us out on facebook um, or instagram i'll put the links to, uh, in the description uh, to those below and uh, as always you know stay tuned we uh, we really enjoy this uh, the support um, you know Follow along on our journey with us as uh, as we show you, you know, these amazing creatures um, and farm life. So, hope you're liking the content. Uh, let us know if you have anything you want to see. And, uh, you know, you can't beat views like this. So, if you want if you want them to uh, keep coming, you want me to keep uh, producing content, let me know. Show me some love. And until uh, next time, guys. We'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye.